was your next step? You went straight to the Rav Chereve? No, what, what happened was, I became, I thought about I thought I must paint the Rebbe. I must paint the Rebbe. Because I knew it was a divine power. I knew it was a divine, the, the, the divine power. I asked the doctors, how this can, how does something like this can be explained? They said, there are things in medicine you cannot explain. I knew it was a divine power for sure. I looked at the lots of pictures of the Rebbe, looked at lots of videos of the Rebbe, decided to paint the Rebbe. But to paint the Rebbe, do you think it was something easy? No. To paint anyone, you, uh, for me, no. I am an artist. I want to hear more stories, so let's try to compact okay. as much as we can. Okay. I painted uh, monarchy, I painted celebrities and so on, but I never painted a spiritual person. To paint a spiritual person, it was very difficult for me. Why? Because I must, I must understand him in order to paint his character yeah, on the canvas. It. I don't paint just a resemblance of a person. To do so, so much so I wanted to paint the Rebbe, I turned my life toward orthodoxy. I started laying tefillin. Because you wanted to paint Yes, it. yes, keeping Shabbat and everything. Then I painted the Rebbe. One morning I came down, I took a big piece of canvas, I, my wife said to me, are you tuned to paint the Rebbe? I said, yes, this morning I am tuned to paint the Rebbe. Of course, I started from, from lots of photographs, pre preliminary sketch, because Rebbe was in New York, I was in London, right? right? When I drew something, many times your hand doesn't go uh, smoothly, okay? You erase it with the eraser, you do it again. You wipe it, you do it again. But in this particular uh, instance, there was like a power conducting my hand to the destination of every single line. In no time, I saw the out, uh, outline of the Rebbe there. So you made the yes. first portrait sure. outline? Yes. A few, we a few weeks later, I painted his eyes. Rabbi Sudak of England. He's the head emissary of the Bavitch, yes. right? He heard I am painting the Rebbe. He came and knocked our, on, on the door with our neighbor, of course. He said, I have heard that you are painting our Rebbe. Where is it? I said, Rabbi Sudak is not finished. No, 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 I must see it, he says. <laughs> It's not finished. He was very persistent. He came in. He saw painting of the Rebbe. I'm finished. Standing on the easel. He looked on, the, on his eyes. He said, wow, lots of artists painted the Rebbe. But this is the Rebbe. He must see it. He will get lots of nachat from this painting. I said, Rabbi Zuzak, believe it or not, I must take it to New York. I must speak to the Rebbe. Then finish it. Or else, I can't. Then he was comforted. A few months later, we went to New York. I understood it was a Hasid, uh, some days, which is a Hasidic calendar, very significant, you'd bet. You'd bet the 12th of Tammuz, the, the release of the previous Rebbe from prison. That's right. Okay. Just a few days before I have, we have arrived, I went to the office. I, the, uh, I wanted a private audience with the Rebbe. No chance. This is the Rebbe is <laughs> very busy now. It, it was, so it how was, do you get to meet the Rebbe? Okay. You know this... Uh, you had Tammuz. They had the big, the big Fabrengen, right? Yes, in 770. And I was among the crowd, sitting there. And Rebbe was giving the chayim to everybody. Suddenly I said to myself, Raphael, wake up. Just wake up. You see all this chassid in here? They all are drunk. Yeah, they all are drunk. Nobody will care, wake up sometime tomorrow morning. But Rebbe, I'm sure we will wake up on time and go, and go to his office at 10 o'clock. So tomorrow morning is the best time to approach the Rebbe. Take advantage. Yeah, took him by surprise. <laughs> right. So tomorrow morning, uh, and the next morning, with, I took the painting, me and my wife and our next door neighbor, which was with us. We covered it. I stood at the 770, Eastern Parkway, Lubavitch headquarters. I waited for the Rebbe to come to his office. As I, as I saw his, um, Rabbi Klein, his secretary, he went up, people said, if he went up, he means he, he, he went to bring the Rebbe. When his car approached, the Rebbe's car approached, um, um, Rabbi Klein went and he opened the door for uh, the Rebbe. As the Rebbe was coming out, I left the painting, I uncovered the painting, I, I went towards the Rebbe. I was going to say to the Rebbe, Rebbe, I am Raphael Nouril, I am an artist, I live in London, I painted your portrait, please give me your comments so over the my painting. So did the painting? 
There was no need to say so. In split second, he stood in front of, pain, in front of painting and he made his first comment about his painting, about his hands, the way they are situated in the painting. He commented on that. Yes. I'll tell you exactly. I should. We're, we're running out of time, so we can't get into too much details. Yeah. So you adjusted the painting yeah. according. Yes. So Rebbe said to me, hands like this are prohibited. Hands should be in such a manner like that. I said, do you want me to change your hands, Rebbe? Yes, change my hands like that. So there is direct involvement of the Rebbe. Then I said, Rebbe, what about a face? You always spoke about hands. It's very good. It's better than the original. <laughs> I didn't know from excitement. Okay, I started patting on Rebbe's shoulder, saying to Rebbe, Rebbe, thank you, Rebbe, thank you. So suddenly I realized nobody pats on a leader's shoulder from, uh, from excitement I did. So not because I'm, I'm a rude person. The Rebbe understood I didn't feel comfortable and he grabbed my hand and shook it warmly and he wished me the surah to about good news. Well, this, this, is a, this is definitely an incredible introduction into your world with the Rebbe and Rafal Nuri is going to be exhibiting his works, many of his works. One of them, one of the famous ones is the one called Exodus. Um, finally, Home, the Exodus of Jews to the Land of Israel and many other of his works. And all are welcome to participate and see this uh, exhibition. And if you want to contact us, the number is on the screen. You can call us, ask us, talk to us, question us, etc. And of course, we have our website where you can watch our show at any time. Mr. Lurio, we have just about a minute left. I know that you had follow-up. You did one of your classic pictures is about the Rebbe and his father-in-law. In a nutshell, tell us about it. But with his father-in-law? Yes. Or, uh, the picture about the Rebbe and his father-in-law. Well, when I became closer to Lubavitch, I became close to the to this wall. I understood Rebbe and his father-in-law, they had a special connection. I searched for the picture which I can paint from. Of course, uh, I'm going back to 1927. Uh, I found a very poor condition picture, which I made a big, big painting out of, life-size painting. I'm a, I'm a lovely a, picture of the Rebbe with yes. his father-in-law, an engagement picture, right. I understand that yeah, is. I have showed it to the Rebbe, in fact. I went to his home in 1988. And what were his comments? He was very, very excited. He said you should spread Judaism with your work, with the help of your missus. And I'm sure that your exhibits do this along with your other pictures that you have, which we'll talk about at a later date. And to your viewers, we want to wish you the best of luck. We want to wish you Roha Vatzloch. Thank you. And all of Hagen, <laughs> <laughs> 